What's very interesting about the baseline levels of creatine kinase in the blood when following relatively intense training protocols is that it can indicate whether we are training beyond our optimal adaptive capacity for effort or even below meaning insufficiently under trained therefore if the reference level is low the intensity in training can be increased without any problems if the level is much higher than the accepted maximum it indicates inadequate recovery between workouts with muscles being damaged because the stimulus is far too great relative to the adaptive capacity in this case the intensity or frequency of these overly demanding workouts should be reduced this could even risk overtraining and performance no longer improves significant changes in diet and recovery honestly are needed including stimulation of muscle mitochondrial functionality and i'll talk this in a future video increasing the number of capillaries in the muscles and developing the myocardium the heart muscle now creatine kinase is an enzyme inside muscle fibers a very relevant biomarker for those of us who train intensely high intensity interval training in general hypertrophy or lifting heavy weights even calisthenics if it's very intense or intense sports training all this can lead to increase in the level of this enzyme and a too high level leads not only to overtraining but also to a decrease in performance coordination precision in the movements and clarity as it reaches the brain very important this aspect it also leads to risk of muscle tears by the way if you're always into hypertrophy training 